Mike Bevins with Honeywell. Your engine, the TPE 331-14, was selected to power the new Kestrel aircraft, which is kind of a significant development in the industry. Tell us a little bit about what the significance is to be selected for a brand new airplane. Well, obviously, working with Alan Klappmeyer and his reputation in the industry is a big deal to us. We're quite excited about this airplane. We get lots of opportunities to put our engines on airplanes and lots of new startup companies, but they don't come with what Alan brings to the table, which is a proven track record and really a visionary in terms of what he wants to deliver to the marketplace in a differentiated aircraft product. So tell us about the Dash 14. What makes that a special engine and good for the Kestrel? The 331-14 is a regional aircraft engine. There's many of them out there all over the world operating on Jetstream 41s and so forth. So this is a very robust, very reliable engine. It's got more than enough power for what he wants to do to achieve the performance he wants. It has a proven track record, a long maintenance interval. It's going to come to the table with the best fuel efficiency in its class. It's going to have the longest maintenance intervals and the lowest maintenance operating costs of engines in its class. The actual engine will go all the way up to 1,600 shaft horsepower, but for this application, it's going to be essentially flat rated to 1,000 horsepower everywhere is the way we describe it. So for takeoff, climb, and cruise. So um, it, it's substantially derated for what we need to accomplish here. So we're confident that we have growth in the engine for where Alan wants to take this airplane in the future. Obviously, it's a proven product. What other airplanes are using this engine? Well, again, the regional aircraft, so the jet streams are the main customer for it. There's about 450 of these engines in service worldwide, and they are operated literally on every continent in the globe. So is this the first time the engine has been selected for basically what's a general aviation turboprop? This is the first time we've had this engine on a single engine turboprop application like this. It brings a performance solution to Allen's airplane that is low risk for him. It's everything he needs. It's certified. It's ready to go into production for him. The design team knows this engine well, so we can put it in their airplane, and he can start worrying about the other aspects of the airplane. The engine is one system on board he doesn't have to worry about. Does being selected by somebody like Alan Klappmeyer for a new airplane like the Kestrel open up new markets for Honeywell for this engine? Oh, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. And it will also drive us to do more with the engine in the future as well, because this is just the, the initial foray into this, into this market space with this engine. So yes, we've, got lot, we've already had lots of people inquire about the engine, and I'm certain that there'll be more discussions going forward. But right now, our focus is on Allen and making this program successful. Mike Bevins with Honeywell, thanks very much for talking with us on Aero TV. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by... The DFC-90 all-digital attitude-based autopilot delivers significant performance and safety improvements over previous generation systems. Its innovative flight envelope protection guards against autopilot-induced stalls, and the straight and level mode provides one-button recovery from unusual attitudes for an added measure of safety. Immensely popular within the Cirrus community, the DFC-90 is now being made available for a growing list of aircraft including Piper Matrix and Mirage, Cessna 182s, and Beach Bonanzas and Barons. Fly with confidence. Fly with DFC-90.